Good evening and welcome inside Sonoma Raceway where NASCAR is taking over Northern California. Now, the racing has already started here on the track. Just a little over an hour ago, the ARCA race wrapped up and also earlier today, you had an hour-long practice for the Xfinity Series race. Now, Elk Grove native Kyle Larson, he had the fastest time in that practice. He's hoping that that's a sign of good things to come for him the rest of this weekend. Now, Larson, along with Tyler Reddick and A.J. Allmendinger all grew up in Northern California. Allmendinger is the oldest of the three. He's from San Jose and a pretty strong road racer himself. He's got two top 10 finishes here at Sonoma and two wins overall on road courses. Now he's looking to take down Larson and Reddick, who's a Corning native from just about two hours north of Sacramento. Those are two guys who grew up racing together and they're also two of the favorites to win on Sunday. I think there's a good shot that we could both be battling for a win and it would be pretty neat to uh, have two Northern California guys you know, going at it for the win here at their home track. So um, I know there's a lot of, a lot of people here that we've competed with, you know, cycling and stuff that uh, would be pretty proud to, I know they're already proud to see us out there racing, but uh, they'd be pretty proud to see two local boys uh, up there front battling. It is crazy to think that we were kids, five, six, seven years old, playing, uh, you know, playing on our PlayStations in between heat races and whatnot, and here we are, you know, hopefully going to be racing head to head here at Sonoma for, for a cup win. Pretty crazy. I didn't really know those guys until they got to NASCAR, but um, they are two of the best that we have in this sport. They're going to be around for a long time, so uh, hopefully I can beat them because if you beat those two, especially on a road course, you know you've done something pretty special. Now, Almendinger is also taking part in that Xfinity Series race along with Larson. That's going to be tomorrow afternoon. Now, tomorrow you also, or tomorrow evening rather, tomorrow afternoon you also have qualifying for the big headlining race on Sunday. That's going to be right here on Fox 40 at 1230. Now, let's check in on some basketball news. A scary moment for some Kings fans yesterday is Sasha Vezinkov, the EuroLeague MVP whom the Kings hope to add to their NBA roster later this summer, suffering a knee injury in the Greek League Finals in Athens. Sacramento owns the draft rights to the Olympiacos star who needed to be helped off the court after hurting his right knee in the third quarter. Fortunately for him, earlier today, it appears that he avoided serious injury with the team announcing a swollen bone behind his right knee, so he's likely to be sidelined a few days. He's officially listed as questionable for Game 3 on Sunday. And in soccer coming up in just a few minutes, Republic FC will kick off the final match of a three-game road trip down in San Diego. It's the final regular season meeting between Sacramento and Loyal SC with Sac Republic looking to cap off an undefeated road trip. We're top of the league for a reason um, and no matter where we play you know we should take that intensity and, and the way we play over there um, and dominate games and, that, and that's what I think we need to do more of and hopefully we'll see that on Friday night. We've adapted and we've um, changed a little bit when we've played on the road which has resulted in us getting results um, and you've seen a team that's uh, been ruthless in moments. We've got back to who we are and we've managed to grind out results. Three ways for you to watch that match, Fox40.com, the Fox40 News app, or on Antenna TV. And going back to basketball quickly, game four of the NBA Finals going on right now down in Miami. The Nuggets have a four-point lead at the half on the Heat. Guys?